From research papers to studying plants, the legacy of Dr. Percy Julian continues to impact modern medicine and students attending DePaul University. Today we're celebrating Dr. Julian. He's our cultural leader. Percy Julian is considered one of the greatest scientists of the 20th century. Born in 1899 in Montgomery, Alabama. I can't imagine coming here from Alabama as, what, 16-year-old, give or take, probably, right, right. In, in 1916, not knowing anybody and having to take classes just to catch up to go to college. Right. Do you even know how that happened? Like, how did he get here? His mother knew someone because she was a school teacher okay. through the Methodist Church that put them in connection and brought him to DePa mm -hmm. and thought this would be a good fit for him. Julian went from a, quote, sub-freshman having to take several classes to catch up on his schooling to valedictorian at DePaul University just four years later. Lots of obstacles. Right. From not being allowed to teach here right. at first. Right. And, you know, think of, thinking about he got his degree, he ultimately had to go to Europe to earn his PhD in chemistry right. because he could not get in and could not get the financial support here in the United States. Julian's chemistry career spanned four decades. He made several valuable discoveries. Think birth control, steroids, and medicine for glaucoma. Julian's impacts still felt on campus today. When I first came to DePaul, we had an assignment to talk about a role model. And I wrote Percy Julian as my answer just because of the fact that, you know, he continued to go. He didn't take no for an answer. Dijon Jones is a third year student school. at DePaul. He, he understands the zigzag life sometimes throws at you, but is still pushing forward to reach his goals. Ultimately, learning to solve complex systems. It's basically a system that calculates different absorbents and concentrations um, using HPLC, methanol, and different, um, different solutions and solvents. Determination, challenges, a will to keep going even when faced with so many no's. Percy Julian, you know, he really inspired me as him being an African American and a chemist. And me wanting to go down that same route just really just really won my heart and let me know that I'm not alone and there was someone who did it before me. I so enjoyed interviewing him <laughs> and I'm Felicia to this day millions of people still benefit from steroid medications. These drugs are still made from soybeans using the chemical steps Dr. Percy Julian pioneered all those many years ago.